Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dan again. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is Sunday and it's my only day off from work. And I decided to go get a haircut in Quincy. And then I stopped by my favorite fish store in Quincy there. Uh, that store has been there forever. I've been going there since I was a little kid uh, back in middle school. And now uh, like a professional working so and they're still there so they've been there forever uh, and it's called lovely pets in Quincy Mass uh, they have a really great selection of fresh water and saltwater fish and also uh, live corals as well um, I think I got, yeah I got the torch coral from them last time and the price is pretty good that one is like 20 bucks that, that he sold it to me and then today I went there and I got this Brain, open brain coral and this one is a pretty good sized piece and it was like a hundred dollars and it has green and red or kind of like bright orange tint to it so this would definitely add more colors to the tank and then I came across this pretty large sized piece it's called the bubble uh, top coral uh, or I can check my notes later and then correct myself if that's the wrong name for it uh, and this one was only 50 bucks and it's pretty large and it has green tentacles uh, I mean green center with pretty like brownish tentacles sticking out uh, I got that because it, it looks like a good size for that price uh, so at the store I also I saw some shipments of, of other fish that he got in and he got this really uh, nice like interestingly looking harlequin shrimps and we learned that it only eats starfish. So if I were to get the harlequin shrimp, I took a video of it when I was there. I'm gonna add this to the video. Uh, he said it only eats starfish and you have to get like one starfish every two weeks. Uh, and you can't add more than one starfish at a time because if there's too many starfish in the tank with corals, it will eat it. The, the, I mean the starfish will eat the coral. So you only can get enough for the feedings for like a one or two weeks uh, and they're super cute I'm gonna add a video to that but right now I'm gonna let this uh, two new corals acclimate and I'll be back when I release and settle them in different places that will make it look interesting be right back again so it's been a little while since I've added the two new corals that I got today the this one the green one that I mentioned earlier is actually called a button polyps uh, right now it has extended all its uh, pots out so it looks really nice and green with the kind of like brownish tentacles it actually acts uh, whenever I come close to it um, I made a mistake of putting it too close to the uh, side of this tank so after I make this video I will um, move it outward a little bit so it gives the size some space so that it can open up its disc as well the open brain coral here uh, just lays on the sand it was recommended to me by the guy who sold it that I just just lay on the sand and it would do well there uh, currently I don't think it's fully expanded because I remember at the shop it was a little bit bigger than its current state right now so hopefully it will become bigger and so far as you can see from the tank the tank is has lots of different colors and I've seen some other uh, corals that I like but I'm planning to add them little by little rather than all at once and currently a little update in the tank the pink bubble tip is, is doing pretty good and also yesterday I decided to feed the corals with the coral smoothie that I got and uh, the uh, rose bubble tip has reacted pretty well I guess it ate it and right now it's fully expanded 
it came out a little bit so it looks super super nice now so hopefully both of them will stay like that so I don't have to worry too much uh, and um, I'm gonna feed it again probably on Tuesday today is Sunday so uh, give it a couple of days to to uh, digest and also the green bubble tip now is really nice and large uh, unfortunately I haven't seen the clownfish go in there yet but hopefully I will soon uh, like again this uh, uh, polyps here is really really nice and uh, like I said it actually reacts sometimes when I come closer right now it's not doing it but it does it often at the shop too when the guy just stick his hand and everything start to close up and like I said I'm gonna do a water change soon in a couple of days I have this five gallon tank here that I've mixed the salt in and I have a baby heat heater in there so that the temperature will stay the same and I've used one of the Hydor uh, uh, power heads that, is too, that was too strong for the tank in here. Uh, so it will circulate the water. Uh, so when I change it, it will be the same uh, salinity using this hydrometer uh, to measure the salinity of the, the water and also the same temperature as to not shock the fish. So there you go guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll add more corals as I go along. Thanks. Good night. Here's the video of the Harlequin shrimp that I saw earlier at the local fish store in Quincy. It's moving around between the feather dusters and also at the top of the tank there's a little container with baby Harlequin shrimps and to the left tank there's also other tiny little baby fish as well and they look super cute so I caught a, a, a video of it. And I also um, talked to the owner about this shrimp and they said he said that I would need to buy a chocolate chip starfish every two weeks for it and the starfish would cost ten dollars so uh, this shrimp costs only about thirty dollars but to keep it you would need to spend two hundred sixty dollars for food so it would be a fortune keeping it even though they're super cute I also caught a video of a crab uh, laying on top of a coral, eating of it, <laughs> like he's picking at something in there and putting its mouth, and it's really nice to see. So I add that in the video as well. Thanks, guys, for watching, and please subscribe if you like my videos. Have a good night.